Hello everyone. The CBSE syllabus for the academic year 2020-2021 has been reduced due to the COVID-19 lockdown. According to the syllabus uploaded by CBSE on its official website, there are few changes in the syllabus and in the paper pattern also. In this video, I have included information regarding deleted topics and revised syllabus of English course for class 11th along with the blueprint of the paper. Let me tell you about deleted portion of the syllabus. In literature, two books are prescribed in class 11th by CBSE, Hornbill and Snapshots. From Hornbill, Last Poem, Father to Son and Chapter Number 7, The Adventure have been deleted. From Snapshots, Chapter Number 6, The Ghat of the Only World by Amitabh Ghosh and The Tale of Melon City by Vikram Seth are not a part of the syllabus this year. From Writing and Grammar section, Classified Advertisements, Letters to the Editor, Application for a Job with the Biodata, Article and Report Writing, Narrative, have been deleted from the syllabus. In grammar section, models, clauses, change of voice, error correction, editing task, close passages are not a part of the syllabus this year. Students, according to new exam pattern, English core paper has been divided into two parts. Part A will be objective and it will carry weightage of 40 marks. Part B will be subjective and it will consist of 40 marks questions. ASL, as usual, will be of 20 marks only. Section-wise distribution of marks is as follow. Reading, grammar and writing section will be of 50 marks and literature part will be of 30 marks only. Let's discuss the blueprint of English core paper. As I already mentioned that part A is objective part. So, reading section will be of 18 marks. Question number 1 will be based on unseen passage and you will be asked multiple choice questions based on unseen passage just to assess your comprehension. So, out of 11 questions, you will have to attempt 10 questions and it carries 10 marks. Then another passage will be there based on case-based factual passage. In this question, you have to attempt 8 questions out of 9. So, it carries 8 marks. Second section of part A will be grammar section of 8 marks. Here, you will get multiple choice questions on gap filling based on determiners and tenses. Multiple choice questions on reordering sentences or transformation of sentences. So, total, you have to attempt 8 questions out of given 10. Next is literature section which carries 14 marks. To assess your comprehension and appreciation, you will get multiple choice question from an extract from poetry that is from Hornbill. So, you will get two extracts and out of that you have to attempt one and it carries three marks. Next question will be again multiple choice question based on two prose extracts. So, out of three prose extracts from both Hornbill as well as Snapshots, you have to attempt two prose extracts which carries six marks. Next question students, text based multiple choice questions to assess your comprehension, analysis and interpretation from prose and poetry. So, out of six given questions, you have to attempt five questions here and it carries five marks. Let's now move on to subjective part of the paper. Uh, and its weightage is also of 40 marks, just like part A. Reading section is of 8 marks. Question number 1 will be on note making and summarization. Here you will get a passage, approximately 200 to 250 words. And you have to make notes and you have to summarize your notes after that. So, note making is for 5 marks and summarization is for 3 marks. Next section is writing section and its weightage is 16 marks. Under writing skills, first question will be of short writing skills based on notice writing. Here you will get two questions and out of two questions, you have to attempt one. It carries three marks and word limit is 50 words. Next question is on poster designing and it carries three marks. 
question number 4 will be based on letter writing to be answered in 120 150 words it consists of business or official letters like for making inquiries registering complaints asking for and giving information placing orders and sending replies letters to the school or college authorities regarding admissions school issues etc you will get two questions based on letter and out of two questions you have to attempt one and it carries five marks question number five will be writing composition based on visual or verbal inputs in 120 150 words it may be descriptive argumentative in nature such as speech or debate uh, you will get two questions and out of two questions you have to attempt one and it carries five marks third section is literature and it is for 16 marks in question 6 you will get two short answer type questions from prose and one from poetry from the book hornbill and out of four questions you have to attempt two in 30 to 40 words and it carries four marks question number 7 you will get two questions from snapshots and out of two you have to answer one question of two marks question number eight one long answer type question from prose poetry from your book on bill to be answered in 120 150 words you will get two questions and again you have choice to attempt one question and it carries five marks question number nine long answer type question this you will get from your book snapshots again you have to answer it in 120 150 words and out of two questions you are free to choose one and it carries five marks students i have given an overview of the change cbs the english course syllabus for academic session 2020 21 if you still have any doubts or queries uh, feel free to comment or drop me a line and i will get back to you I have shared CBSC link if you want to check the subject wise official changes in the syllabus just click on the link and you will be able to download all the PDFs. Thank you for watching. Share, like and subscribe. English Tutorials by Poonam Thakur.